today I will make myself a cup of tea. And to do that I will need some pine needles and some sap from the birch tree. Of course I could use the water here, but I would like to use the sap from the birch tree because it will add a natural sweetness to the tea. So that's what I'm up for today. So now I just need to find this tree. But first I will find a hardwood branch, which I will carve into a spile. So I'm carving the stick flat with my knife. And in the center of the stick there's a bit softer wood. So I use my knife and axe to make a channel for the birch sap to flow into the bottle. Bird sap flows ideally when it's spring and when the temperature is around 16 degrees Celsius. That equals around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm taking the tip of my knife and tap it into the tree. I make sure that the hole that I make is the same size as my spile. And then I tap the spile into the tree. Birch sap is packed with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, electrolytes, and natural sugars. And because of the sugar content, you have the possibility to make a sweet, healthy, natural tea out in the middle of the forest. Pine needles contains up to five times the amount of C vitamins found in a lemon. And it even contains vitamin A. Some pine trees can be toxic. That includes the North Folk Island Pine, the Ponderosa Pine and the Yew Pine. So if you want to make some pine needle tea, please do some research before choosing your tree. While the birch sap is tapping, I'm preparing a simple construction that will hold my cooking pot over the fire. I need two branches with a V ending.
I take the two branches and chop them so they have the same size. I'm like sitting outside in the sun and suddenly it just starts to hail. I think it's called hail. Like these Spring is fascinating. I need to take my sweat on. This is crazy. Like it's it stopped now, but it's still cold. Now it's time to chop some wood so I can have a fire going. I place the two branches one meter from each other, so I can make a fire in between. I like to use the bark from the birch tree, because it contains a lot of oil, which makes the bark useful for starting a fire. Now I just need to sit and wait until there's tapped enough birch sap to make a cup of tea. After some hours of waiting, it's time to have a look if there's enough birch sap for a cup of tea. It has been around five hours now and it seems like there's enough birch sap to make a cup of tea. That's perfect. The intrusion that my knife makes into the birch tree is so minimal that it doesn't injure the tree. Now I mix the birch sap with the pine needles and place the pot on the wooden construction.
I leave it there for 15 minutes until the color of the tea has turned golden brown. After a while you place the pot on the ground and you have finally made forest tea. Now it's ready to be served. A taste of nature. Cheers. It's good. It's really good. Now you have seen how I make my forest tea. Help me grow this channel by subscribing and viewing my other videos. See you again.